Pony and the Tramp. Tramp licked the last of the tomato sauce from his chin. So what do you think, Pidge? He asked Lady. That was the most wonderful meal I've ever had, Lady Gutch. What did I tell you, Tramp boasted. There's no one in the world who can cook up a meal like Tony. I couldn't agree with you more, Lady said. Can I ask you a question? Sure thing, Tramp said. Ask away. I was just wondering, Lady began, how you and Tony met. How I met Tony, Tramp laughed. Now that's a story. I'll bet, Lady said. Well, see, it goes like this, Tramp began. It's a cold and snowy night. I don't think I, it had ever been that cold before. I know it hasn't been since. I had been walking uphill for miles. Icicles were hanging from the tip of my nose. Wait a minute, they interrupted. You were walking four miles uphill in this town? That's right, Tramp said. You've never seen the likes of it. Exactly, Lady told him. You know why? Tramp shook his head. Because it isn't possible. There are no big hills around here, Lady said. Okay, you're right, he confessed. So then, what's the truth, Lady asked. The truth is, Tramp began, it wasn't always the slick and handsome devil you see before you. Is that right, Lady of you? That it was amused. And this one afternoon, I was being harassed by a group of mangy mutts who outnumbered me ten to one. So I took off as fast as my paws would, could carry me, and as they were chasing me along, along came this dog catcher. Before he could get me, Tony came running out with a bowl of steaming hot pasta. Tramp explained. He told the dog catcher I was his dog. The dog catcher didn't believe him, but when Tony put the bowl of pasta down in front of me, he had no choice. Let me tell you, I thought I'd don died and gone to heaven. I can relate to that, Lady said, replying to me. And the rest, Tramp said, as they say, is history. Love you. Night.